Hello everyone, what is going on? I do a lot of mod content on this channel, so I only figured it would be fitting to teach you guys how to mod your game if you are not sure. It should only take about 5 minutes, I get a lot of questions about how to install mods and how to edit configs, so I'm going to include both those things in this video, but let's jump right in. The first thing you're going to do, open up your browser, and check out the link in the description that'll bring you to this page, the R2 Modman download page. You're going to want to click manual download. I already did it a couple of times today, so I have three of them. You're just going to open that up. Now that you've done that, close Google. You're done. Uh, you're going to create a new folder on your desktop. You can just name it mods or it's just to extract all these things. So bring these into that new folder just to get them out of the zip file. You're done with that. This folder, open it right up. You're going to see r2modmansetup.exe. That is your installation. Click on that. Things are going to load. This may happen. You might see this just because it's kind of a smaller thing. Look on more info. Run anyway. I promise. Uh, you're going to say, you know, only me. Next, choose. It should have a default, you know, folder anyway. Click install. It's going to install pretty quick. Does not take very long at all. And then you can run it and finish. You're now done installing. It's going to bring you here. This uh, R2 Modman actually works with a ton of games, as you can see. But we are focused today on Risk of Rain 2. You can set it as your default. I'm just going to click Select Game. Then you're going to select the platform in which you have the Risk of Rain installed. I'm going to click Steam. If you're on console, I'm very sorry. There is no modding on console. Maybe someday, but this is just for PC for now. Uh, I have a bunch of different profiles. Yours will probably just say default. If you have a default, you can select that one or just create a new one. These are basically folders that you can store different mods in. So for screenshots, I don't have that many mods, but in my mods folder, I have all the mods I have installed. And for my Trent folder, that's like zero mods. That's just me like playing Eclipse and stuff. So you can kind of set different folders for different mods. I'm going to go into the big one and you can see all of the mods I have installed. I have 180 mods. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, but here's what it looks like. You have all these mods installed. You can turn them on and off as you go. There are going to be a lot that look like this that are kind of default. You're going to, you know, those will install when you install a new mod. But that's how it works. If you want to install a new mod, you go online. You can search for anything here. Let's say I want a new items mod. So you search items. Now we have... Uh, League of Legends items. Cool. I click download and then you click download with dependencies. I don't actually want this mod, but if I did, that's what I would click. It installs automatically and will appear in your installed folder. Then you just make sure it's checked on and you're good. You can click start modded or start vanilla if you don't want the mods. Either way, it'll work. That's the first part. That's how you install mods. You've done it. Uh, if you're curious how to edit a mod and edit some config, I've had a couple of questions about this. Uh, I made a video where I uh, every item I picked up was multiplied by a thousand. Very fun video. I've done very well. Thank you all for watching that video. Many people have asked, how do I change the amount of items? How do I edit the actual mod? Because the mod is called Budaku times 10. Times 10 is not what we're looking for. We're looking for times a thousand. So you're going to go over to the config editor. This is all the config files for all the mods you have installed. For this one, we're going to search for Udaku. Here it is. You click this, you can click edit config, and in every mod, they're going to have a number of things you can edit. For this mod specifically, we're just looking at this. So right now I have it multiplied times five, but if you want items multiplied by a thousand, you just write a thousand, click save, and now you're good to go. Make sure the mod's enabled, of course, and then start modded. But there's a lot of different uh, mods that you can edit. For example, I have Sacrifice Tweaks, which is another one I've used before. I don't know why it changed to this. I think I just had it like this before. But this is the chance of an item to drop from an enemy. I did a video where an every single kill dropped an item. So you just change this to a billion or whatever you'd like. But you can edit a lot of things in all these mods, and this is how you do it. In the Config Editor, you just have to find the mod and then click Save. That's it. You've installed mods, you've edited mods, now go play with mods. Uh, be careful with your like main profile because some mods like unlock things or can mess up like Eclipse. So if you want like your core Eclipse 
journey and achievements and things to kind of stay on their own, create a separate profile for that so the mod don't mess it up. But in essence, that's all there is to it. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will be answering them. Uh, but enjoy your modding journey, and I will see you next time.